There's good news, bad news, and good news on this agenda. The good news is there are a lot of other people who can help. Uh, the UK have an initiative on building up capacity for early rapid response to conflict. The Danish and the Norwegian governments have initiatives on building up civilian capacities for response to conflict at the UN and in the European Union. There are a host of other actors out there who could help build this suite of tools that we're going to need to deal with these conflicts and who can play direct roles in Sudan, in the Middle East, and a whole host of situations. Uh, it will, however, in my estimation, take American diplomacy and American policy to pull that suite of initiatives into anything remotely resembling a coherent plan for deepening our capacity. The bad news is that getting the Europeans and traditional allies on the same page on this isn't enough. There are a whole host of other key actors who have to be brought on board who are playing critical roles. Brazil is leading the effort in Haiti. India is the second largest contributor to UN peacekeeping operations and plays critical roles in places like Lebanon and Sudan. Uh, there are a whole host of countries that have to be brought along on board on this agenda. But the good news there, and I'll end on this point, is there is actually a shared interest in seeing this work. There are differences in interest around specific conflicts, but there is a shared interest in building a more effective set of systems to help manage civil conflicts and international conflict of a range of types. And I think that American leadership on this issue, and this one I would suggest is actual leadership, uh, will be met with substantial support and probably substantial results.